We are at day 30 of our Lent consecration. Y'all, we have been packing this on. I am excited that you are still here with us every single day. Well, I'm Pastor Renato at Life Worship Center, and guess what? We meet you where you are. I'm here today, I'm talking about the Redeemer. Oh my gosh, I'm talking about the one who takes, who compensates for your faults and for your bad things. That means that stuff that you be doing, he pays you for it. Let me tell you what scripture says. Galatians chapter three and verse 3, 13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. He pays for your faults. What that means, that means he, what does he pay you? How does he compensate you for your bad things or the things that you don't do so well in? Can I tell you how he pays for that? He pays for it by making you the head and not the tail. Can I tell you how he paid for it? When he says that you will be a lender and not a borrower, even though you don't even know how to manage your finances right. I know, it's, I know it's, everybody don't do it right, but he'll make sure that he teach you how to be a lender and not a borrower, which means, can I tell you the second scripture comes from Titus 2 and 14. It says, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us. He gave himself to you that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. So when you're thinking about that thing that you feel like you're weak in, he says, where you are weak, yet I'm strong. Did I not tell you he compensate for everything you got? So when you weak in it, he's strong for you. Can I tell you another way he compensates? He says, I know the plans that I have for you. He says that curse, that thing that you feel like is a curse on you, he says, I'll give you hope for it instead. Because hope, hope breaks curses. So all you got to do is know that God has already compensated for you. And he is our redeemer. And so let us go to God in prayer. Father, we're so grateful and thankful, God, that Lord, when we feel like we're short, when we fall short of some things, or God, when we don't have it all, when we're not the smartest in the room, or maybe not, we don't have the most money in the room, or maybe we just, every time we think we're gonna get it right, God, we just, we just can't, we feel like we just can't get right. But thank God we serve you who is our redeemer. And because you are our redeemer, God, we know that we are saved and blessed and know that Lord, that you are working it out for our good. And so we thank you and honor you. And it's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.